Hello everyone and welcome to this video which will walk you through the metadata topic including how to report about geospatial information using standard metadata within the Agroinformatics data catalog of which now you may see the home page displayed on the screen. Metadata is information about data and the FAO data catalog provides users with three options for documenting the data. The dataset schema, which is a metadata model based on the Dublin Core standard, the DCAT schema, which is based on the DCAT data catalog vocabulary standard, and the ISO profile based on the ISO 915 metadata standard. Dataset and DCAT models are mainly used in the data catalog to describe tables and spreadsheets or to report about collections of datasets and groups of layers. The ISO 9115 metadata standard instead is the most appropriate schema to describe spatial data, particularly for those in raster and vector formats, and to link any type of associated resources to the metadata generated in the catalog. What we need the metadata for is to find answers to at least the basic 5W plus 1H questions, like in a journalistic reporting. In the context of geospatial information, the question will be what the data resource is about, its main topic, what its features are, the resolution, the format, and so on, why it matters, which is the purpose for creating this data, where is the geographic area represented by the data, when the data resource is produced or published, and when might be also the time extent to which the data is referring to. Who is the contact organization or person somehow linked to the data resource? And finally, how to find the data resource, to assess it, to use it. The fundamental elements of the ISO metadata can already guarantee the minimum level of information by providing those answers. Furthermore, it may offer consistent metadata for describing special resources with a proper structure and classes to hold it. The ISO core metadata elements, whose mandatory ones you are now seeing on the screen, allow indeed for detailed information about the identification of the data. Without mentioning all the elements, you may see yourself that they provide also information that characterizes the geospatial resource, as well as information to access it, including distribution methods and instructions, and to assess its quality and fitness to use. And finally, to know more about the geographic resource, points of contact with different roles can be made available in the metadata for the users. In the next video, we will have a close look at the ISO form of the FAO data catalog, with all these elements and more, organized in items and sections to hold them.